Hey guys, it's Lego Maestro here. Welcome back to another episode of Hypixel Alert. Guys, it has been a week since the last episode, but we've got a ton of news to get into today. So let's get straight into it. Oh man, I have... Uh, this was such a good story. If you did not play Hypixel over the weekend, then you wouldn't probably know about this, but uh, most of you did, and that is the last weekend Hypixel finally had, after years, a Double Coins XP weekend. Hypixel tweeted out this week, Double Coins, Double XP, Sale, Bed Wars Update, Testing Guns in Battle Royale, and more. Have a great weekend. Hypixel, I've just got to give you a round of applause for that one. We have waited for so long for a Double Coins weekend, so to finally have one of those, it brings back a little bit of nostalgia, I'm not going to lie. Thank you very much. I hope you'll do more in the future. Oh, but guys, another really cool story today. So in the last episode of Hypixel Alert, I covered how my Doza actually lost his YouTube rank because, well, someone else now owns the channel. I also went to that person that had a YouTube rank who owns the account, but you should know, as of this week, my Doza actually got YouTube rank on the server once again. Now, I have absolutely no idea how he actually ended up getting YouTube rank again. I mean, maybe the person who owns the account talked to Hypixel, maybe Hypixel changed his mind. I mean, I have no idea, but uh, maybe Hypixel saw the last Hypixeler and decided, you know what, I think we should give him his YouTube rank back. Either way, though, cool stuff. Well, when the owner of the new My Doza channel reveals himself, I will let you guys know. So make sure you're subscribed right here on Hypixel Alert. I did get a lot of you guys messaging asking, Lego, who is it? Please tell me who is the owner of the new My Doza channel. Guys, I cannot tell you. I'm sorry, but I will release it once the person who owns the account releases it themselves. Well, on to our next story. You guys know about boosters on Hypixel, and there was an update to them this week. Now, this forum post was made by Deprecated Nether, and guys, I'm just going to very briefly go over this because I don't want to bore you guys, and I mean, there's some really cool stuff in here, so I'll just cover the highlights. The first thing is booster stacking. Now, as you guys might know, booster queues can go on up to a month uh, just in waiting. You queue one booster, that means for the one hour, that's your booster. Then the next hour is someone else's booster. And so when you have 10 people, that's 10 hours of waiting, just like that. And basically with booster stacking, once you queue it, it will go on for the next hour, the hour after you queue it. So instead of that, you can actually have 10 people activating a single booster at the same time. And each booster that is stacked on will have a higher coins multiplier and everyone gets equal coins. It's a very, very cool system. But this is something really, really cool. They said that base coin multipliers for all mini games without a booster are now two times the coins. So say for example, you are playing Turbo Kart Racers and you know what, there is absolutely no booster going on for it and you're getting way less coins because obviously, you know, there's no booster. Well now, you will be getting at least two times the coins for every single time that you get coins in the game. So I think that's really, really cool. They also made some menu changes as well. I've got to say this was a really great update overall. Deprecated Nether did a phenomenal job of putting it all together and uh, yeah, if you guys have not played already or got yourself a booster, well then, now is the time to do it and try it out for yourself. Hypixel Duels, a very well-known minigame that's uh, not actually an official minigame yet. Duels has basically taken over places like Kohi and Bad Lion. I know they're the same thing, but anyway, they have basically taken that over and some people have been waiting for that to become an official minigame on the server. And well, if you've been waiting like I have, then you won't have to wait too much longer because the Hypixel Network tweeted out this. We're getting close to the duels of Borlis coming soon, showing a picture of the new duels lobby. Oh man, that is going to be hype. Uh, guys, the minigame ranked Skywars on Hypixel, a very well-known game. A lot of people play it, but it's also known for a lot of sweaty players and even hackers or cheaters, people who might even freeze their Minecraft. They don't even have to have a hacked client to be breaking the rules. But anyway, uh, Plank this week decided to do something about it. He made a forum post this week titled Ranked Skywars Punishments, saying, hey guys, since we've implemented the Ranked Skywars of Blacklist in November, we'll now be introducing scaling for them. So basically, for the first time that someone gets caught cheating, they will be have to sitting out the rest of their ban, and they will also be blacklisted from one season of Ranked. The second time you get caught cheating, you will have to wait out your ban, and you'll also be blacklisted from three seasons of Ranked. And on the third time you get banned, you will be permanently blacklisted from ranked Skywars altogether. So I gotta say, this is a good system, especially considering the amount of complaints that these guys get about hackers or closet cheaters, as they are called. Well, now we have a very small forum post for you coming from Codename B. He made a forum post this week on the new Battle Royale Point 2 update. In his forum post, he said, A new patch has been released for Battle Royale, available to test now in the prototype lobby. The general updates include that they added armor, removed shield potions, and added some guns as well. And then he also goes on to say how guns work, but uh, that's pretty much it for that forum post. I mean, there's really 
not too much to it, but it is still very cool. So nonetheless, I will be leaving a link to that forum post in the description if you're interested. But now we have a very happy story, this one coming from Shotgun Rage. You might have heard of that guy, he's a pretty well-known Hypixel YouTuber. And this week he hit 200,000 subscribers. He tweeted out this week, I love and appreciate you all. I don't look too much at the numbers, but this is surreal. Thank you. Aw, uh, dude, well-earned stuff. You make some good content as well, so dude, keep it up. You'll be at half a million, and then you'll be hitting that million. So. Once again, congrats. Well, now it's time for our final story, ladies and gentlemen. This one, you probably have already commented about it, saying, Lego, how could you have possibly have missed this? Ladies and gentlemen, this week, the new Hypixel minigame, The Pit, came out to play as a prototype minigame. There was a forum post made by Miniclune this week, titled, New Prototype Lobby Game, The Hypixel Pit. And basically, for those that don't know what this is, it is a minigame where you've got to fight other people, and by killing people and earning items and gold, you are able to level up and by killing people and also collecting gold around the maps, you can buy armor and power-ups and items that will stay with you permanently, such as better armor, weapons, you know, like some fishing rods maybe, some lava buckets, a lot of really cool stuff. And the way you're able to unlock it is with levels, and again, that goes back to killing people. It's a really, really cool system and a very awesome minigame. Here's a screenshot from the game showing the permanent upgrades and the non-permanent upgrades. You can also unlock some perks for the minigame, such as more coins per kill, or speed on a kill, or region on a kill, or strength, you know, stuff like that. Here's a screenshot you can see from the forum post. Now, something really cool about this minigame is that you can get streaks, right? Kill streaks. You know, you kill people, kill people, survive, kill, and the higher your win streak is, the more coins and XP you get per kill so that is a really cool system. Here's a screenshot from that from the forum post. Overall, such a fun minigame. If you guys have not played it yet, make sure to go play. It is in the prototype lobby. I mean, it's a hit. It is a really cool game. I have no doubt this will be its own mini game in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the news today. If you've enjoyed this episode of Hypixel Alert, Putting a like on the video would be much appreciated because it shows that you like what I do here. Other than that, my social media are in the description if you're interested, along with all the links to everything I've covered here today. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and Hypixel Nation, now over 33.7 thousand subscribers, and I'll see you next time.